come to mama. But as soon as she comes off, watch it. She'll let go. Come on. Oh. What's up, YouTube fam? Welcome back to the channel. Hopefully you guys are having a great day so far. We're here hanging out. Haley's got her hair all cute. It's getting so long. She's so happy right now. Giving you a warning, there's gonna be a lot of Christmas stuff happening. So much Christmas stuff. We're super stuff. excited. And we wanna thank Cricket for helping us make that happen. Recently, she's been pointing at everything. And she points with her left hand, so I'm curious if she's a lefty. Anyway, we ended last week's video and we mentioned that we were gonna be going to a follow-up appointment for Katie's kidney stones. So we actually just got back from that. But y'all, it's crazy because Christmas is like right around the corner. She's like being so shy right now. She's so laying on my shoulder. A little bit. Anyway, it's gonna be a fun time. Aunt Michael just sent Haley the cutest little Christmas package. These are from her little shop, but they're two little bows. And then she sent her cute Christmas pajamas. I cannot, they're so cute. When Haley was open it, she got so excited and has been playing with them. Do you love it? You love the Christmas trees? She notices all the bright colors and all the different designs now and like she'll point out different things and it's so sweet. It's 11.02, I'm getting ready to walk inside. The girls are asleep so I'm gonna give a quick update out here. Today I just had some things that didn't go our way, but it's okay, our heat broke. And also our water pump broke. Uh, we, thankfully we have a fireplace or we would really be in trouble, but that doesn't really heat the basement and all the separate rooms and bathrooms. So it is a little bit chilly. We got to get that fixed. It's okay. I'm downstairs. Our house is absolutely a wreck right now. There's background to the story though. So last night I was downstairs. I tried to turn the TV on and there was no power. And I was like, what in the world? And come to find out, I went in the utility closet and the breaker had tripped and I kept trying to figure out why it was tripping. There was nothing even plugged in down here. It was labeled like downstairs living room outlets. And I'm like, there's nothing plugged in. This shouldn't be tripping. Well, I went into our storage room and as soon as I walked in, I was standing in water. And I was like, oh boy. We had just got several inches of rain that weekend. And I'm thinking, okay, as I'm filming this, there's more water here and I don't know why. That is not good. I literally just walked in here for the first time and I thought the water had stopped. But apparently it's not stopped. It's not a ton of water. But you can see, probably, that there's water here on the floor. So, we gotta figure this out. Um, so I don't have more water coming in. But basically we have a pump in the basement for all of the downstairs bathroom and the washer because it's obviously below ground and has to pump up and get out to the septic, whereas the upstairs uses gravity and flows out. So the pump malfunctioned, and instead of pumping out, it started to overflow on the floor. So I'm gonna have to get someone over here and figure out why that is happening and why it is tripping the entire breaker. But I'm guessing it's just gonna need a new pump. I gotta call the plumber, get that figured out. More importantly, our heat is not working, so that is not good. I mentioned that we have a fireplace, so that is good. I also have an electric heater that I put in our room, so we're fine. But it is not ideal, obviously, especially when you have guests. I basically just unloaded my whole day on you guys, so thank you for that. Everyone else is asleep, so you guys got stuck with it. But anyway, it is late, so I'm gonna get upstairs, go to bed, and then we'll catch you guys in the morning. Good morning, guys. We are back. This time, I got the ladies here. They What's are up, awake. YouTube? We are getting ready to do that project I mentioned last night. Haley is actually sitting in Remy's bed. She loves it's it over okay. here. She thinks it's her bed. <laughs> it's they both so sit cute. in here together and like we'll play. It's ridiculously cute. Right after I left you guys last night, I went downstairs because I forgot to shut the light off. And let me just say, I'm thankful I did because I walked in and it started flooding while I was standing there. It was coming up out of the ground, out of that pot. Um, and I was like, this is not good. I actually texted Katie, she ended up coming down, um, but I had a shot vac, so I tried to vacuum up as much as the water as I could, but we'll have to figure out all that stuff. But for now, we are getting ready to start our little family Christmas project. Katie and I actually saw this idea on, was it, you saw it on Pinterest. I think I saw it on Instagram. You saw it on Reels. Uh, but they have little cut pieces of wood, pre-cut, there's a little hole in it. You get some string, um, some ribbon, and then you hang it on the tree as an ornament. Now, this is basic, so we were like, we gotta step this up a little bit. So we actually got some paint. We're gonna paint them white, and then we're gonna use our Cricut to print out some personalized names. Just some stuff that's gonna last, and we can hang it up in like 10 years and be like, oh, we made that, remember our first Christmas, <laughs> it was so fun. Haley is gonna start walking like any second. She was like bouncing off the couch. She's so confident, here, come to mama. But as soon as she comes off, watch it, she'll let go, come on. 
Oh. Oh, my goodness. Come on, come on, come on. Keep going, come on. We're getting everything set up, but fun fact is my sister actually told us about Cricut because she was a kindergarten teacher for... Uh, I think three years and so she used it all the time with her kids for different crafts and projects So I told you guys last night that it came in a little late for our initial decorating, but we got it now Here's an idea of what we're trying to accomplish I actually stayed up last night and painted a few so they would be dry for today We did some white and some black, but after doing them I'm not sure if we're gonna actually do black on the tree I feel like the white more goes with our vibe like the brighter I, I agree like it matches the tree more the black is very light Harsh. We're gonna get going, but that is the general idea of what is supposed to happen today. I'm working on the designs right now. I'm in Cricut's design space. Uh, super cool. I got a little wreath here with Haley's name, and then I think I did other ones too. Yep, there is Mom, Remy, and then I think I'm in here somewhere. Dad. Do we put dad and mom or Katie and Travis? Definitely dad and mom. It's making yours right this now. Is yours. This is Katie and here's Remy. <gasps> <gasps> Yay! <laughs> Your very first ornament. <laughs> This thing is crazy. I cannot believe it cuts everything out perfectly. Um, I was looking and it actually does like stickers. It can do apparel, it can do bags. You can put a sticker on um, like Katie's little cup. I'm about to put something on my Stanley. I'm gonna be like Katie Stanley. Haley's nap time fell right in the middle of our project, so she is on the couch drinking her bottle. Haley woke up just in time to put the ornaments on it's the tree. So they turned out so nice. Check them out. I wanna give a big shout out and thank you to Cricut for sponsoring today's video. It's amazing what you can do with the machine. Katie and I were talking and Haley's birthday is in like two and a half months? Yeah, it's coming up really fast, honestly. I'm already planning out stuff that I can do with it. It's so easy to use and it makes stuff that's personalized. It's super affordable and they are so cute. I mean, that looks like it's professional and we did that in like five minutes at our house. Let's go. We made some cool memories celebrating our first Christmas as a family of three. It's not quite here yet, but a couple days. So uh, we're gonna throw these up on the tree and then we'll catch you later. Haley's about to get her teeth brushed and she absolutely loves it. <laughs> we call it her teeth brush and she doesn't even have any teeth yet. But it's a gum cleanser too. So we started doing it. Starting good hygiene in you. Yes, ma'am. Look at her face. Ah, yeah. I think she just loves how it feels on her gum. This is the cutest You're the thing best. ever. You're the best little teeth brusher. Let me see your tongue go, eh. <laughs> I gotta get your tongue. I gotta get your tongue. I gotta get your tongue. It's crazy to me that she still has no teeth. Um, the pediatrician said it's fine. It's just funny. And I think she's got to be getting close because the teething seems to be getting worse and worse. Especially this week. We've been really dealing with it. She's kind of been upset. I don't know what she's the deal is. She's been gnawing on her fingers like crazy, chewing on every toy possible. And then yes, the fussiness has started. So I think we're going to have a few pop here soon, which I've said that for months. I'm always like, oh, this is the time. This is the time. No teeth. But she's fine, I know they will come. I'm not too worried about teeth coming in. It's just a matter of time. Also, we forgot to update you guys yesterday on Katie's follow-up appointment, so Katie I'll give can you the update. give you the rundown. Basically, not too much happened. We went to the doctors, everything looked great. They gave me a basic like sheet of paper that had like a list of foods to avoid. All of this stuff was kind of out there and I don't really eat any of it. It was like brains, kidney, liver. 
I don't eat that stuff. So um, that will be easy to avoid. In a few weeks, we are gonna go back. They are still testing the stone to see what actually made it. So once they know that, we'll get some specific like dietary restrictions to try to avoid more. But I have no kidney stones now, so we're starting with a clean slate and I'll see them every few months to kind of make sure nothing else is going wrong. Also, the heat is working again, thank the Lord. It is back to normal. A guy came out and he was basically here all day. Um, I think he said the pressure switch needed to be replaced, so they did that and it obviously worked because we are nice and warm. Also, we have no more water in our basement, which is great. Um, that ended up being that pump we it's were talking Christmas about miracle. earlier. Yeah, it's our Christmas miracle, Katie said. So they ended up just replacing the entire pump and that fixed the issue. So hopefully we'll have no more issues with that for the time being. Next week is our Christmas video. Super pumped about it, but also I think it's gonna be the video where you guys see Haley walk. She's getting so close. She's standing over here practicing. Oh! <laughs> oh, that was a step! That was a step! Oh, come on, one more. One more. Oh! Oh, you're so close! I'm just so excited. I can't wait to see her, like, actually walking. She's so little. She's only 10 months old, guys. And she's so short that it just looks like a little person walking. Just will be so <laughs> cute and so funny. I'm so excited for it. I have to keep my eye on her because I'm trying not to miss the big moments. <laughs> a little bit of a shorter video this week, but hopefully you guys enjoyed it. We're gonna be shutting the camera off. We're gonna be spending time together as a family. Hopefully you guys are doing the same. And then we will be back next week. We're gonna be showing you our Christmas, Haley's first Christmas, her reaction to the gifts. So we're super excited about it. I already know she's gonna get an insane amount of gifts. I've heard through aunts, uncles, grandma, grandpa, the stuff she is getting and she's not even gonna know what to do with herself. So we're super pumped about it. We are wishing you guys a Merry Christmas. We will be back next week. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Peace out.